I still feel insulted by what Mr. Hakim Baba Ahmed said. And, and okay, Rudolph is feeling uncomfortable. If no, 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 no. I, I want to, I want to hear you. I want to hear you. If you don't want me to go there, I won't. No, go no, go, go. No, I want to hear you, and I want to question you more. Like, let me hear. Yes, you. good. I thank you. So I, 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 did, I felt really bad because uh, Mr. Tunubu went there, Mr. Atiku went there. We did not see that level of scrutiny and focus to that extent. One, it, it, you know, CM has already gone through a lot of it. But I want one thing I want to clearly state is that uh, Mr. Obi, you know, you are you are doing very well. You're you're going, but from the beginning of your 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 mandate, when I said the one of the things that put me off with Obi was, you know, trying to be nice to the establishment and things like that. It put me off immediately. It made me become suspect of him. It be respected that from close quarters. I know that he is a genuine guy, you know, from close quarters, I know that he's a genuine guy. So, um, it's, it, it, you know, the, the whole way I will be answered it and everything, it still continues to reinforce. Okay, true. Obi and those, especially I'm talking to those who are, who are those determining who Obi goes to interview. Why can't Obi, for example, make us, in the, make those, his, us, his brothers, feel comfortable with, with himself by opening up to journalists who are of Igbo extraction, have you not noticed the pattern? He's talking to people outside. This is re a reflection of what your government is going to be. This is the same thing, the same template that uh, Jonathan used. Or, uh, this, his, he, he, he look at that, the shame. You became you're a Nigerian president. You can't even you can't even your your your, your home time is flooding. You you were a Nigerian president. Your home time is flooding. Mr. Obi, this is my advocacy. This not has nothing. If I have the option, no doubt, you are the best candidate. We'll vote for you. But that doesn't mean that as an evil man, I should be deluded to this thing. It's either you're white and you're white. If you don't, if, if you state the, like CM said it, state the facts. Let everybody grow at their own rate. The governor of Maine and the governor of California cannot be mates. Simple. That, that is the only way me, uh, mediocrity can be taken out of Nigeria. And that is the only way that Nigeria can be good. If you don't have what it takes to field a, 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 a good football team, then that's your business. You know, but going to promise the North, it's, it's still reading those scripts of the Jonathan days, the Azikwe days, the, uh, you know, we, we are past that. But when you go to the real intentions of the same poly people that you are, you are kind, trying to do, they are not looking at you as a, a Nigerian president. Let's be honest. They're looking at you as an Igbo man. They're looking at you as an Igbo man. That's what they're doing. So what, what are you? What are we deceiving ourselves? Let's be on. Let's. I, I just want you to be. I, I, I'm very disappointed that the pattern is is clear. That apart from Tochku, who else have you really uh, 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 opened up interview to? You've been avoiding every other. Uh, All right. All right, thank you, thank you. Adrian of people, people, you need to address us and tell us what you have because we too will vote for you. Thank you. you. Are not any, it's still that inequality that you are peddling in, in this your campaign. Okay. You, see, Tunubu, you can look at Tunubu, look at the other people. They are talking to their to their people. You see them in their gatherings talking to their own people. Why are you avoiding us? It's not mm. fair. It's, it's right. still, it's, you are still trying to say implicit. You are still throwing that line. Of an inequal, inequal Nigeria. So okay. how can you now convince me now for the fact that you are going to be you are going to take the, the plight of the woman seriously? All right, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Right.